Now, when we were talking to Car in the week, the thing is we're talking to Car is that you come up with something that's sort of like, um, quite innocent, and he goes, ah, well, the once, right? And you realise that it's comedy dynamite. Yeah. He doesn't know it, but we want to go save it. And he let out, um, you were filling in a form, weren't you? It's, it's all about your girlfriend thinking you're a div. And it's happened before, isn't it? Because she came home and you'd filled out a form to get a job once, hadn't you? Yeah. What was that for? Granada well, Telly. And on it... Well, uh, let Carl explain. Yeah. Um, you, you, uh, you see, this is what annoys me with job applications, because rather than just saying, do you want the job and what can you bring to this business? Yeah. Do you want the job is a good one. Because yeah. the thing is... <laughs> that, 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 that's what I learned from the boys. No, listen, right? Because if they say no, yeah, I don't think they want the job. Yeah, but listen. Go on. I mean, I presume with what you do, you, you have to take people on and stuff. What, well, like a fight, you mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think it's more important that you're willing to graft and put the hours in. Sure. Than say that, you know, you've, you did well at school. Yes, sure. Because if I wanted to, I could have done well at school. Of course. I just, I just didn't want to. Yeah. So where's this going? So you had the application form. So when it came to the qualifications bit and that, I couldn't fill them in because I didn't have any qualifications. And it was also asking about your languages. And I, I put down English quite good. <laughs> English quite good. Ha ha ha. And his girlfriend Brilliant. came over and seen the form that he'd sent off. And this was a copy, copy of it. Yeah. And so she went, oh, you know what I mean? So that's what started... You know, the disappointment. So they're going to get that and think that you're not English. I don't think I've got it. It was ages ago. Right. <laughs> How long ago was it? Oh, well, it was when I was still in Manchester, so f five years ago. I don't think you've got it, no. <laughs> um, no, I, I, yeah, no, I think you That yeah. could be a long list. I mean, there, there's probably a lot of admin problems in that organisation, but they, they've probably... But what, pro what I meant by it is that, me Engl you know, I can speak English, but I don't know all these long words that people use all the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, can I just tell this quickly? Um, it, in the week, um, I'm talking to you now, the listener, um, usually I don't. Yeah. Uh, Carl said, oh, I'm about embarrassing him on air and that, and he's worried about his education, and he was worried about not knowing long words, like we come up with any long words. Mm. And he said, no, I, I was, I was scared, um, you were going to ask me something about, um, someone, and he's, a uh, Eastern European leader, his surname is Milosevic, and Carl said, so I learnt it this week, and learnt it so you can't catch me out in case you say, I said, what? And he said... He thought about it and he went, Flobberdam Milosevic. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a surname right though, doesn't he? So what's his, surname, name, right? what's his name? That's how Bill and Ben would address this leader. <laughs> how would they have said it? Flobberdam Milosevic. What's his name? Slobberdam yeah. Milosevic. Yeah. Well done. well done. Anyway, Carl, look, you almost let it slip then as you were talking about your uh, filling out that application form. There's some big news that everyone needs to know, which we were stunned by in the week. Although, the more we sort of talk to you, the more it starts to fall into place. Yeah. But Carl, what's the story? That I haven't got me, uh, me exam results from the GCSEs. He never turned up to get his exam results. I was working. And so, how many did you take in the end? Because you weren't even sure about that, were you? You think you took maths and English, don't you? Yeah. And you, you think you've handed in the artwork for art, don't now, you? Now, art was, um, continual assessment, wasn't it? Yeah. Coursework. And what was the, that you had, you made? I made a man s sort of putting his arms into a car. You've, you've made a model of a man putting his arms into a car. What was this? So that like, one's passed. Was that, is that, that this is a homage to break-ins in Manchester? <laughs> was this? <laughs> <laughs> was this? <laughs> oh, look, he does what he sees. Yeah. Um, so, so you've got it? that. That's safe. You've so, definitely got that one. So you've taken mm -hmm. art, you've taken English and maths, you think. So this is what we're going to do, listeners. We're going to try and find out his exam results for him and tell him next week. Live on air. We're going to call his school, we're going to try and track him down, and we are going to have a little envelope, and we are going to give Carl, at the age of 29, his O-level results. Uh, GCSEs. GCSEs, yeah. Now, Carl, so you took maths, yep. you think, you took English, you took, do you remember turning up to do this? Do you remember sitting in the room, filling in the forms? Yeah. Okay, and how did you feel you did? <laughs> I didn't, I don't think I did well. You don't think you did well? Did you revise? No. Why didn't you revise? Because I, I don't really believe in it. <laughs> okay. Well, it's just that if you don't know it, then you don't know it. You shouldn't have to start looking at the book. If I went to the doc, if I went to like the hospital, yeah, and the doctor said, "Oh, you need your appendix out," but hang on a minute, I've just got to read up on it. Yeah, that isn't good enough. Okay, he should know, and that's that's the way I feel about it. <laughs> to be it. fair, though, he did do the revision beforehand. Yeah, they don't usually pass on, uh, like maybe like when they're in practice. Yeah, information they the took line. in by osmosis. Yeah, yeah, and they bloke comes in and goes, "Can I just see what you did with that?" And I goes, "You've passed." Yeah, phew. That's a good one. Yeah. Good job I watched Casualty. <laughs>
I just like the way, you know, the things that interest me, I remember. Things okay. like snakes not having ears and stuff. Yes. I didn't have to read about that. No, you just learnt that. Yeah. You saw it on the telly, didn't you? You saw yeah. it on that Ian Wright program. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what Carl said to me. He said, uh, uh, only, no, it's actually, um, I, I called Carl up in the week and Reese was with him. You know, Reese used to be on XFM yeah, and he yeah. took the phone and he went, Carl's worried, I've seen that program. He said, snakes don't have ears, right? He said, so you can creep up on them and pick them up. And he said, Carl's worried. He said, how would you ever put them down again? Because <laughs> <laughs> then they know that you're there. I woke up the other night quite late. Worried about that. And I said to my girlfriend, I said, how do you put a snake down? And she said, what are you talking about? I said, that Ian Wright thing, this guy managed to pick up a snake. And do you know that thing where they clamp its head on a jar to get the poison out? <laughs> <laughs> I do know. Right? <laughs> they did that, but they didn't show you how they got rid of it. And I thought, it could really get nasty, because it's obviously annoyed that you've had its head pressed in the jar. Yeah. yeah right? They hate that. Now... It's you, especially as it's in front of their mates. When you lift it off... Yeah. Right? You've got hold of it. Yeah. If you go to chuck it down, <laughs> it's going to turn on you. It's going to go wild, isn't it? So... I, I just wondered. Well, what you do is you never put it down, Carl. Yeah, that's why that's, what that's what why that bloke has got about, you know, 11 or 12 just carrying him. Exactly. Yeah, you never put it down. You sling it. Who cares? You just throw it, don't you, really far. <laughs> that's not, that I don't think you should throw snakes. But Carl, listen, don't, don't worry, you don't, we're not asking you to get involved with snakes, we're just asking you now. You did, you, you've, you've, you've done ma maths, you think? Yeah. Did no revision for that? No. Okay. Uh, English, do you remember what it was? Did they ask you about Shakespeare? Did they ask you about books? I remember, but I must have done it because I thought that was... It was the English enough. language, not English literature, wasn't it? So it was, was like... It spelling and what? So was it, no, was it, was it like a comprehension? You read a passage and had to ask questions on it? Was it, uh, did you have to write a short essay? I don't know, I can't remember any of that. <laughs> okay. I did a, I did a science. Okay, did physics it? or chemistry? Physics. Alright, well done. And uh, this is all you think? Any you actually took that? You actually took physics, GCSE, you think? You're obliged to do a language, I think. Did you do French? I did French for a bit. But I don't think you are. I don't think you have to do a language. I think you have a GCSE, I think you've got to. Well, it. English quite good. <laughs> I think that's his language he did. <laughs> so you don't know about I language. History? Remember. Geography? Just, just what you will find out, won't we? Okay. But you just can't remember. You, I, I, I can't believe you can't remember turning up for these things. Because it's quite a big moment in people's lives. It is that the, it is the thing that you've been working to all of your educational life. On the day that the the things came out, I was working at a print as a printer. Okay. And it was a really busy. A lot day. of spelling mistakes. That it was a really busy day, so you're bound to forget. Yeah, the, the yeah. Reserves. No, but I, I I had to use gold ink that day. Oh, 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 oh. and it's and, yeah, I mean you're yeah, not a printer, yeah, yeah. so you don't you don't know. No, it. no, no, that's the biggie in it. But it's tough. You've got to really get your rollers clean. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Carl, play a record, mate, and good luck with the exam results. Hopefully, we'll have them for you by next week. The home of the classics. Absolutely. Classics. Classics. Classics, classics, classics. Oggy, oggy, oggy. Oi, oi, oi. Um, well, we were uh, <laughs> talking earlier about this, um, uh, as this book, They Died Young, right? And it's all these theories about these people, uh, like famous people that, um, uh, aren't really dead. And I remember speaking to someone about this, okay? And they said to me, Bruce Lee is not dead. <laughs> right? They said he's not dead, right? Uh, and I thought I said, well, um, how do you know? He's going, no, it was a whole big thing by the Hong Kong government, and he's actually working as an undercover cop in Hong Kong. <laughs> I, I using Using his, his kung fu powers. Now... No, he's apparently, he faked his own death, Carl, yeah. so that he could work undercover for the Hong Kong yeah. police, infiltrating gangs, the triads, that sort of thing. Now, my point is this. If you're going to use someone undercover in Hong Kong, right... You know, an undercover cop. I suggest using the most famous Chinaman of all time. That, yeah, that would that's be... that's a guarantee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, when he's taking away a gang, they're going, you look a bit like Bruce Lee. He's going, no, no, I don't, no. See this, this moustache? It's a bit wonky. Well, it's, I just, just take my word for it. I'm not Bruce Lee, all right? Well, all that stuff you did when you were punching us and kicking us and chop, yes. But, Cohen, I'm not. Yeah, it does look a bit like the stuff in my film, in, in his films. In his films, yeah. But it's, it's not. It does it's not. just coincidence. No, yeah. The thing, the thing is, though, and not sounding bad here, not trying to offend anyone, but they do all look the right. same. They okay. do all look no, the no, same. No, no, no. No. Hang on, though. You know, we're having a serious chat. I'm right. Not, I'm not, you know, I'm not here to upset anyone. Right. And what I'm saying is, over here... I'm so sorry. No, I'm not... Yeah, but you know me. I'm not, I'm not out to upset right. anyone. Right. You're not a racialist. No. What so, do you mean? You, you, are you saying all saying people is, all look alike? Well, look, look at the people over here, right? Yeah. With like, you've got, no, you've got ginger this, people. Oh, 
You've got people with black hair, you've got people who are fat, mm. people who are thin, mm. but they're all so sort of fit, which isn't a bad thing. They all do that sort of thing in the park. They're all fit. It's a place where black hair... I mean, when they come here, they set pi pictures of people with ginger hair, don't they? Because they don't get them over there. That's what I'm saying. So calm down. Jeez. <laughs> so you're saying that Bruce Lee... The most famous Chinese movie star of all they time. They can't tell him apart. Other, no, other trial members would how are they, I mean, how are they going about the business at all? I yeah. mean, what I'm saying is, how, how would they even realise yeah. that that the, was the guy? What do they have to do? Wear numbers in, you know, because there's, there's, there's a billion no, but of when them. No, when you know them, then you know So them. what? Oh, I see. They can tell each other apart, can they? Well, they've got signals. <laughs> I, this is amazing, isn't That's it? How you got away with Simon, it. Simon, which one are you? Just raise your hand, Simon. <laughs> yep. Chang, which one's Chang? Chang, good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it must be murder, mustn't it? Just people thing. going into the wrong houses all the time, <laughs> getting off with their mates' wives. Exactly. Yeah. It must be a nightmare. Then. It must be a nightmare. Um, this, uh, Carl, he, please don't complain. He doesn't know what he's doing. So I'm really sorry to anyone. Uh, he honestly does not know what he's saying. <laughs> XFM 104.9. Yeah, but what I'm saying is... Go on. I don't think I am offending anyone. <laughs> okay. Fine, that's all right then. And you know that I wouldn't want to do that. No, before, I know you don't. Oh, I know. I swore oh, I know. Radio, I said, right, if you've got kids in the car, turn your radio down. <laughs> So before you make any potentially racist remarks, just point out if you are listening and you might be Oriental. Yeah. Please don't take offence. Or go... Oh, oh. You know what I mean. So yeah. Go on then. So what, what was this other dead person? Who's not... <laughs> Carl, play a record. Ricky's having a heart attack. <laughs>